Mm -hmm. That's what I'm making today. This is Mike from Pro Home Cooks. Konbanwa. Don't mind the screaming in the back. That's a normal sound in this house because I have five girls. This is sourdough starter. It's active, it's fun. It's the secret ingredient in my pizza dough, sourdough starter. But the problem is you have to feed this and sometimes there's excess starter and it looks like this right here. It's goopy, it's sticky. Normally I throw that out, but Mike, teaches this scallion pancake you can make with it. So I'm gonna try to make it today for the first time. I've got my cast iron nice and hot. The ingredients are simple. Scallions or green onions, sesame seeds, and that is it. I'm gonna chop up the green onions and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top and then I will make the scallion pancake. These green onions are kind of old too, so I need to use them. So this is perfect time to utilize that excess st sourdough starter that I don't use. Usually I throw it away and use up these green onions. I'm gonna cut these at an angle, but I want them kind of lengthy so they stick. There we go. I'm just using olive oil. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about this. I saw Mike's video probably over a year ago, and I always wanted to do it, but I never did. And I thought, you know, I'm making this pizza dough, so why don't I just try this? I'm gonna put the sesame seeds, which I'm gonna grind on there. The reason I'm doing this first is because I don't want these to burn. And one thin layer right on there. He uses whole sesame seeds. I'm gonna put plenty of scallions too, there we go. Now I've never made it before, but Koreans have a scallion pancake that oftentimes I order. One thing I like about this dish, it's very healthy for you. A sourdough starter, that's a fermented food. Good for the gut health. You're gonna put salt on it. Using this salt I bought at Pike Place Market. Local salt. Only additional ingredient I'm gonna put in that Mike did not mention, some white pepper all the way around. There we go. Sesame oil goes a long way, a little bit. Oh yeah, that's looking great. Woo, woo hee, there we go. Actually it looks halfway decent. So there wasn't a lot of oil on the pan itself. I did put that sesame oil. What I'm gonna do is kind of move it around, hopefully spreading some of that sesame oil on the pan. And take a cover, do that. While that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and get my sauce going. So Mike does make a dipping sauce. I totally forgot what was in it. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball one right now. A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of rice wine vinegar, or rice wine, just rice vinegar. Tiny bit of sesame oil. So just like the sesame oil, I just keep this bottle and I put good mirin in here. I like this brand, but there's better brands and that's what's inside of this. This is gonna add a tad bit of sweetness, not that much. Just because I want it to have a little bit of a thickness, I'm gonna add a little bit of oyster sauce. Just a little bit. Heat is off. Whoa, look at that. That's exactly what it looks like in this video. Just like that. It does feel cooked, but it needs to be more crispy. So I'm gonna turn the heat up pretty high there. I'm gonna get it nice and brown. Feels pretty good. Now I've never had this, so I don't even know what the consistency should be. I just know visually they look, this looks similar to Mike's. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go ahead and cut this. Mmm, 
I totally just made up this sauce, by the way. It's a fun part of cooking, this experiment. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Mm hmm. My favorite part of this is not even the flavor or how good it is. It's the fact that I can use that sourdough starter, which is so good for you, that I used to throw away. Now I can use it. I have a question for you. Let me know in the comments if you've been thinking about doing sourdough bread, maybe doing sourdough pizza like me. You've never had a starter before. And then two, if I were to somehow be able to package my sourdough starter, would you be interested in picking it up? Comment down below, let me know. Cause I thought it'd be fun if a lot of people out there have my sourdough starter. Reminds me of the Korean pancake. Oh, baby. Bye. 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 Wow. Watch out. Honey, you gotta try this. Yeah. It's a scallion pancake. That's using my sourdough starter. No way. Yes, because I, I throw away that sourdough starter when you feed it. But what do you think though? It's good. It's very good. It is kind of like a pancake, but it's like a pizza. It's really good. Let me know how this turns out for you, for those people that already do sourdough. And then for anybody interested, would you want my sourdough starter? I'll talk to you later.